Hey, my name is Adia and I'm really excited to bring you this crash course on line dancing terminology and tips to be successful on the dance floor. So this is going to be created for beginners, especially people who are brand new or never have done line dancing. We're going to be creating a series of these videos to help you get more confident on the dance floor, not only dancing, but understanding how to learn line dancing. So we're going to be going through some tips and some techniques as well as terminology, which is one of the biggest factors when it comes to line dancing, so that you can get more, uh, you know, you can feel more confident anywhere you go to learn, to get on the dance floor and have fun. Um, First right. of all, when you learn a line dance, you're going to notice that dances are done to four different walls. That means that you're gonna do the dance from the beginning facing a different wall every time. So, and some dances have four walls that you face, others you might only face two walls. You might start to the front and then to the back. So let me show you what I mean. So we define the walls like the clock, we use the clock to define it. So we've got 12 o'clock wall, three o'clock wall, six o'clock wall, and nine o'clock wall. All right, so that's how you'll kind of hear some of the terms um, identified like in terms of directions that you'll they'll use the clock. You don't need to pick a dot on the wall to spot. I don't need to just pick the G here in order to figure out what wall I'm at. Just choose something general. When you get into your dance place, look around, decide what on the walls stand out to you. What big area, maybe it's a color, maybe it's a mirror or a TV or a clock or whatever it is. So over here I'm looking at, I've got my rose painting. And when I go to the three o'clock wall, it's my closet wall. I don't know if you can see that. And we're in my kitchen. So behind uh, the six o'clock wall is the kitchen. And then I've got on this side, I've got the window, the back door. So I'm creating these, um, these visual things for me to look at so that when I'm turning my dance, I know where to look. So define your wall. It's gonna be different for everyone, but just do that when you first walk in. Second, you wanna make sure that when you're learning a line dance, you wanna stand in the middle. I know that sounds kind of off, like why would you be in the middle when you're just learning? You wanna to go to the back. Well, like we just talked about, when that dance turns around to the back, if you're the last one in the back, you now become the front. And there's nothing wrong with that except for if you're brand new and, you don't, and you're not familiar with it, you're gonna feel overwhelmed and you will have no one to watch. You'll be looking over your shoulder, which is one of the worst things you can do in line dancing because when you look over shoulder, it gets really confusing. Um, which leads me to number three, and that is there's always gonna be a couple people in your class who are more familiar with that dance or line dancing in general. Find those people and when you turn to your perspective walls, try to look for a person on that wall in that direction for you to follow. A lot of times the teacher will give you cues like, hey, raise your hand, this is a wall leader, that's a wall leader. Sometimes there are no wall, the official wall leaders and you just gotta find someone who kind of looks like they know what they're doing and do your best with that. So the three things that we just went over in regards to successfully learning line dances and kind of getting comfortable on the dance floor so far is pay attention to the walls. You've got 12, three, six, nine. Find something on the wall to identify so when you turn, you know where you're going, you don't get all turned around. And stand in the middle of the dance floor so that there's people around you and you're able to watch. So when I turn to this wall, I'm now watching this person. And when I turn to this wall, now I'm watching this person over here and I'm not having to look over my shoulder at who's leading. All right, let's get into some terminology. So, one of the biggest factors on learning how to line dance and learning dances is understanding what the terms are. And just like any language, it takes a little bit of time, but you're gonna get it and we're gonna walk you through. So I'm going to cover two different terms today, some very popular done in almost every dance, uh, line dance moves so that you can get familiar with it. So the first one we have is called a rock set. So I'm gonna stand with my weight on my left for teaching sake and I've got my right foot free. A rock step is kind of like a rocking chair. So I'm going to rock back onto my right foot and then come back and shifting my weight to my left foot. That is called a rock step. Here, I'll do it to the side. So now I'm gonna change my legs for the sake of the camera. I've got weight on my uh, right foot and my left foot is free. I'm going to rock back and recover. So that's a rock recover or a rocking chair. 
You may hear it termed and called differently, different places, but that's in general what we've got going on here, okay? Notice, when I do my rocking chair, try it with me. When I do my rocking chair, I'm not lifting up my front foot. I don't wanna shift my weight so much that I'm lifting up my foot and I'm not able to have control because a lot of times rock steps will happen very fast. You need to be able to do it really fast. All right, so let's try a rock step. You can face like I am and have your right leg free. And now we're going to rock back. Ready? Five, six, seven, rock it. One, recover two. Okay, let's try that again. Five, six, seven, eight, rock, recover. Or rocking chair. We can do a rock step to the side. Let's try that. And all that is, I'm putting my weight on my right and then bringing it back to my left again. Okay, rock, recover. Rock, step. All right, let's try it to the other side. So I've got my weight on my right and my left foot free. I rock, recover. One of the biggest mistakes that people make in a rock step is they put all their weight onto the leg they're rocking on and they forget to come back and recover. So make sure you rock, recover. If it's called a rock step, there's going to be a recovery back to the original leg. Let's take that same leg forward. So we go rock, recover. Okay, I put my weight on my left, bring it back to my right where it originally began, and make sure to keep that leg, that the standing leg on the ground so you don't lose control again. All right, so let's do all the different directions we can do a rock step to. Here we go, six, seven, Eight, let's rock it back. How about side? Shift weight, other side. How about front? Good, let's try that again. So right foot goes rock back, and now rock side. Let's take the right foot forward, forward, and back one more time, back. All right, so that's a rocking chair. We can also take a rocking chair, not only front, back, side, side, we can take it to the diagonals. So if I were to take it to the back diagonal, it would look like this. Rock, recover. A lot of times we would end up stepping out afterwards. Not always, but rock, recover. Notice again how the leg that has the weight, I'm gonna go back with my left leg now, does not pick up. I see a lot of people do that and then it, it makes it hard to get into the next move. So rock, recover. Shift your weight, rock, recover. Shift your weight, rock, Woo, recover. Good. All right, we can also take our rock across our body. All right, so it would look like this. Rock, recover. All right, again, taking my right leg, I cross it, recover. Let's try it with the left side. Rock, recover. Here is a rocking chair. Sometimes rocking chairs are very slow. Sometimes they're really fast. So as you practice, you can practice doing them slow or you can practice doing them fast, okay? The more variety, the better. All about shifting that weight and learning what works with for your body. All right, so the next dance terminology and step I wanna teach you is called a triple step, sometimes referred to as a shuffle step. And there are probably small um, differences in, the, in a triple step and a shuffle step, but for the sake of this teaching, we're gonna, call, we're gonna call them one and the same. So a triple step means we're gonna do three steps to the side. So let's start to the right. I've got my weight on my left leg, and I'm gonna go one, two, three. Make sure to shift weight all the way onto that third step. Okay, let's go back the other way. So I'm stepping one, two, three. Shifting my weight all the way to the left side. That's a triple step. Can we try that faster? Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. How about the other way? Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. Now, triple steps are extremely popular in line dancing. You will see it in so many of the dances you learn. And there's also lots of variety of ways to do it, just like the rock step. So, just for demonstration purposes, we can triple to the side. Okay, and notice I added a little bit of a bounce in my step because usually when we do a triple step, it isn't just slow. It's actually a triple step. Triple step. Try that with me. Triple step. Triple step. Good. So we can go, we can triple step forward. Step together, step. We can triple step backwards. Step together, step. We can triple step to a diagonal. Step together, step. And obviously back the other way. Step to 
together step. So we've got other moves that we will go into that combine triple steps with other types of steps. But for the sake of this video, we're going to keep it nice and simple. We've got triple steps. Let's try one to the right, one to the left. Five, six, seven, eight. Triple step, triple step. Sometimes we can do triple steps in sequence, like two in a row, we would switch the leg going forward. Usually these sequence triple steps are moving either forward or backwards. So let's try it forward. Got weight on our left. We're gonna do a triple step on our right and then switch and do a triple step on our left. You're really just stepping right, left, right, left, right, left. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Right, left, right, left, right, left. How'd you do? Let's try it again. Five, six, seven, eight. Right, left, right, left, right, left. And we can do that to different directions. If we were to do that side, if we were to do right, left, right, left, right, left, um, going side to side, it would probably look something more like this. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Versus continuing in that direction. Right, left, right, left, right, left. That's not something you're gonna see typically. All right, so in this, in this series, we're going to talk about the things that you see typically in line dancing. All right, so you've got the rock step, you've got the triple step, and you learned about how to best learn in your environment, looking at walls, wall leaders, and where you should stand. Hope this was helpful, and we look forward to sharing more tips and techniques and terminology so that you can be successful line dancing. And we really hope to see you at our dance event called The Edge, where we'll be teaching different styles and genres of dance. And it's going to be a blast. And the more terminology you have under your belt, the easier it's going to be to learn.